off in dogs. Eight on your side's Linny Supal joins us live from a dog park in Tampa. Linny, we've been tracking the situation since fall. We love our dogs. What does the situation look like right now? Well, good evening. Yeah, veterinarians say that dogs with this illness may have a lingering cough, especially if they were boarded during the holidays. And they're also saying that dogs should probably stay away from dog parks, especially if it's unknown if other dogs have been vaccinated. Oh, good girl. There you oh. go. Just shy of two years old, Lily is a source of joy for the Bradford family. Lily is incredibly loving. But owner Casey Bradford was shaken when Lily showed alarming symptoms last month. Started with her waking up in the middle of the night, hacking just over and over. Casey later learned Lily caught a respiratory illness that's been prevalent among dogs in close quarters. Since then, Lily's treatment has been extensive. Right now we are on three different antibiotics and a esophagus, I guess, soother which seems to help a lot with the actual irritation and the coughing itself. But we are seeing a little bit of an uptick right now, especially with the holidays that just passed, people going away, dogs being boarded. Dr. Tori Rhodes is a veterinarian at Bayshore Animal Clinic in Tampa. So I always tell people if you would be concerned about it in your kid, be concerned about it in your dog. So what we tend to see is a dry, non-productive cough. So it sounds very dry, it doesn't sound wet. Um, and that kind of cough we can associate with some of our more prevalent upper respiratory diseases. But Dr. Rhodes says the strain of this serious cough is still under review. Sometimes we don't get to the bottom of exactly what strain it was, um, but it's always kind of in a low grade in the environment with us. So Dr. Rhodes went on to say that if your dog is showing any signs of this illness, be sure they stay away from other dogs and go to a veterinarian's office where they could be placed on an antibiotic. She says that's where they show significant signs of improvement. Reporting live in Tampa, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side.